Hello everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Julie's the author slash pages and pens. I'm here today with the January Unplugged Book Box unboxing. Let's dive right in. January's box has been really, really delayed and they were very transparent about that. Um, usually they're like first week of the month, they're here. It's like one of the first boxes that goes out. However, they had some issues with this one. So it's the 27th today? 28th. Um, and I think their February ones have like already started shipping out soon. Um, very excited about February. But we've got January to get through first. And I am excited. I want to see what 2023 has in store for us. I know it's going to be exclusive. I know Unplugged went green, so they're doing all eco-friendly packaging. No more paper worms. We have like biodegradable um, styrofoam, like the little peanuts. It's not styrofoam. You can like put it in water and it disintegrates. And I'm very excited about that. Ooh, okie dokie, okie dokie. This is what we're looking at in here. A um, couple boxes and it is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So I'm gonna take a couple of these little items out. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Oh, terrifying truths. Uh, this is what I wanted to see. And then next month for us, uh, for the adult, it is, I believe, Revenge. Yes, Revenge. And I know the book and I'm so excited about it. Um, but we're gonna get into terrifying truths. I dig around to find this. So I do already see a couple of little items. So we're gonna jump right in. So first up is a shower steamer. It says, uh, all good showers here. All good showers here. This is Bergamont and Murder. It's definitely an orange shower steamer. I just don't know the fandom, so I will have to look at the paper, but love a shower steamer because I do have a shower. Don't have a bathtub, do have a shower. Then we have Robin from um, Fiction Bath Co. And this is lemon, ginger tea, and old books. I love this. It's a solid perfume. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, hold on. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Okay, 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 okay. It is like a solid wax perfume. That's our label. That's our balm. And it smells so nice. Ooh, I actually very excited about this. And it doesn't just like clip on, like it screws on. You know what I mean? I'm very excited. I will look at the fandom for that because I don't know. But this might be what I'm most excited about because I 100% know what this is. These are reusable makeup sponges. So um, not sponges, but like remover wipes or you can use it for toner or anything, but they're like little cotton rounds and you reuse these for like taking off your makeup, putting toner on, like I said. Um, I love these, I use these. These are not this particular brand, but like these are the ones that I use. They all say, never let anyone make you feel ordinary. They're very pretty. They all say that. And there are six of them. And then you put them into this bag and put this bag into the laundry and clean them. Um, I love that they included these. Personally, I like the ones that are black because you're never gonna get like all of the makeup out of them and then I don't feel as bad. Like they don't look as grimy because no matter what I've done, like the makeup stains a little bit um, even when I wash them. So I prefer the ones that are dark, but these are fantastic. Can't make this up, my battery died. My memory card got too full. This battery is probably not going to last. We're gonna try here, okay? Um, but I have a large box. And I think this is the last of our mugs, maybe? I don't know. I think I just saw something. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It's a labyrinth mug. It's labyrinth. I love nothing more in this world than labyrinth. Okay. We have Jareth <laughs> and little Toby and some goblins. We have Jareth and Sarah at the ball. And we have Sarah and the worm and Ludo and Hoggle. Oh, oh my. 
my gosh. It's pink inside. Pink was a choice, but I love these. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure I've donated all the other ones in the series. There was a couple different fandoms that I wasn't like super huge on. This one is going nowhere. It's going directly on my shelf behind me. Who is that from? Um, the art of Nathan Narika. I'm so excited. Okay. And then I can see what this is. This is a Sanderson fandom, which I love my Sanderson. And this is actually one of the Sandersons that I've read. So yay me. Oh. This says buy the colors since 2013 unplugged book box. You can see that right there. And then it is light song. This is a war breaker candle. This is gorgeous coloring. Gorgeous. It says war breaker, unplugged book box, essence of sloth. And it's just like a regular candle. The, the like selling point of these really is the glass. The candles are pretty generic. This one smells a lot less scented than some of the other ones, but this is beautiful. I loved war breaker so much. So I'm not even gonna put that back in the, the bubble wrap, which it was very nicely bubble wrapped in there. I don't know why I put the mug away because I'm also putting that right out. So we can take this right back out of the box again as well. We have this candle, Warbreaker, love it. Labyrinth could not literally be more perfect for me. Shower steamer, which I can actually use. And this, this smells so good. This solid perfume, I'm in love, like actually, Legitimately in love. The cotton rounds. Very, very, very excited. Legitimately, everything in this box tailored to me perfectly. The one thing that I'm not as sure is tailored as perfectly to me is the book, but I'm gonna hope for the best. So this is our card. It's like a person in the dark holding their head. We do have our author letter, which I'm not going to read, but I am gonna get into the book here, and it is wrapped. I think they're going to start looking for ways to like wrap these without the plastic. This is not obviously has not been done for this one, but I think that in the future they are looking for that. This is The Sleepless, look at that cover, by Victor Manobo? Manabo, Manaibo. Fonda Lee said it delivers, I could not close my eyes. That's impressive. This says never dream again. That is terrifying to me. As somebody with like sleep paralysis, that's terrifying. Uh, but this says, um, the book of the month, it was published in 2022. Uh, the copy includes an exclusive dust jacket, stenciled edges, foiled hardcover, and end pages. So let's see what's fancy about this. The end pages, I don't know if you can tell, but we've got a cityscape. Cityscape, more cityscape, is that a city? It is a city. There's like a mountain behind it, but there is a city. Okay. This is our cover, which I think is exclusive because the regular one is white and purple. You can see that here and ours is like blue and orangey. Man, the focus. Let's see it naked though, because that's where these books have been shining. The end pages are okay. Signed, and it looks like it might be like physically signed. I don't know. It could be digitally signed, but it looks like it's physically signed, which is exciting. Okay. Oh, there's code on it. Look at the eye and the city, and then there's like coding on it. Okay. I lied. This might be perfect for me. Look at this. Are you kidding? That is so cool. All right, let's read the synopsis because I don't know anything about this, but this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, I wanna love this. Please let me love this. He says he is a Filipino speculative fiction writer. The Sleepless is a debut novel. Queer immigrant, person of color, he writes about people who live those identities and navigate imaginary worlds. 
a mysterious pandemic oof, causes a quarter of the world to permanently lose their ability to sleep without any apparent health implications. The outbreak creates a new class of people who are both feared and ostracized, most of whom optimize their extra hours to earn more money. Journalist Jamie Vega is sleepless. He can't sleep, nor does he need to. When his boss dies on the eve of a controversial corporate takeover, Jamie doesn't buy the too con convenient explanation of suicide and launches in an investigation of his own. But everything goes awry when Jamie discovers that he was the last person who saw Simon alive. Not only do the police suspect him, Jamie himself has no memory of that night. Alarmingly, his memory loss may have to do with how he became sleepless. Not naturally, like other sleepless people, but through a risky and illegal biohacking process. As Jamie delves deeper into Simon's final days, he tangles with extremists, organizations, and powerful corporate interests, all while confronting past traumas and unforeseen consequences of his medical experimentation. But Jamie soon faces the most dangerous decision of all as he uncovers a terrifying truth about sleeplessness that imperils him and all of humanity. Ooh, this one does not have anything fancy on the inside of the dust jacket, which is totally fine. This is gorgeous, and I'm actually very excited about it now, so I take it all back. As always, unplugged, nailed it. This is phenomenal. Legitimately, all of this is perfect for me, and the good news is you're gonna have another one of these really soon, because February should be here, like, in the next week or so. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in a comment down below. That's gonna be it for this one. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next video.